Good morning. It is Thursday and what time is it? It's uh, 9 10 and um, I am not at work. The doctor was so kind and gave um, all of us a day off. So I think some of my coworkers are taking Monday off. I'm like happy because it will be like in total it's like a four and a half day weekend because Wednesdays are technically our half day. Today I want to be productive. I'm going to film my uh, desk tour. Don't think I told you guys yesterday I picked up a couple of things from Home Goods, so I'm like prepared now to do a desk tour and then finally a room tour. Hopefully I will be able to film all of that before we leave for Alaska which will be around the end of July. So that's like my goal. And I wanted to film a couple things. I have to film my June Obsessions today because I have to post that tomorrow. And I just want to be productive. And my cousin-in-law and I, we are going to go watch Magic Mike Double XL. We are so excited for the movie. And the crazy thing is that I was purchasing the tickets because we're going to this theater called Movie Go. And they have D-Box seats. So the D-Box seats, if you guys are aware of those, are aware of those, the seats move. Oh my god. What the heck? That's crazy. So I wanted to watch it in D-Box, even though it is a little bit pricey, but I guess my cousin-in-law, she, you know, gets motion sickness. So I was like, okay, alright. You know, as long as we get to see Channing Tatum on a big screen, it's all good. Let's make this like a day in the life video. I think that'd be interesting since I don't really get to do that that often. Let's go get some coffee and eat like a healthy breakfast. Oh yeah, because my cousin-in-law and I are also going to be eating at Olive Garden for dinner. So yeah, I'm not going to eat any carbs this morning or at lunchtime. Well, if you guys are wondering, what is this? You know, these like thingies right here. These are called Dream Dots. And basically, it's like a inst or overnight treatment for any blemishes and stuff. And you just put it over. Let me show you what they look like. They just look like this. You peel them and then you stick them on your face, which is really interesting. I'm gonna tell you guys this thing for me it works because I had a blemish that was just like it was popping through already, and it's not one of those blemishes that like on the surface this one's one of the underneath the surface type of blemish i want you guys to see firsthand how it looks let me go sit down in the mirror yeah this is probably kind of weird but at least you guys can like see it was really pink last night and it was just popping oh my god you see that it just it 50% of it is gone. This thing was like huge last night and it was just like a mound. So that's actually, oh, I shouldn't be touching it, but yeah. Maybe that's a little bit too TMI for you guys, but I just wanted to share because I think that these dream dots are a really cool concept. I swear, this is what I've been eating almost ever since I started 21 Take Fix. I always eat an omelet or a scrambled egg with some baby spinach. So here's breakfast, my omelet with spinach. I didn't even put any salt or pepper. I'm gonna add some Tabasco, uh, raspberries, blueberries, and of course, my black coffee. Just finished painting my nails. Whenever I paint my nails, I can never stay within like my nail bed, so I'm gonna have to clean it up later with nail polish remover. I used the LCLA Nudes. This is a really pretty color, by the way. And this one from Butter London. And this one is called Kerfuffle. This one is on my toes. Currently watching Lexi. You guys know her, Lexi Love 518. My girl. I'm watching her daily vlog from yesterday. And now I'm just waiting for my nails to dry. I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about 21 Day Fix. You guys have seriously given me so much good feedback on my 21 Day Fix review. And currently today I'm on day four. Decided to restart it because of our Vegas trip and all the good eats that we have been eating. So I am back on that. But the only difference this time is that I didn't take any before pictures and I didn't take any measurements. 
true believer in the 21 day fix program as long as you do the meal plans you do the workouts you will definitely see results follow me on snapchat because i post a lot of the food that i'm eating which okay i'm gonna tell you the food that i eat is basically the same maybe i'll just add like something a little bit different but i'm not like the type of person who you know i get sick of a food and constantly keep eating that and to me that's just like I'm just thinking about my goal to slim down and get fit and get toned up. Oh, and you know, I know somebody had commented on my brows in our last vlog. In that video, my brows looked kind of weird in some angles. But you know what it is? I, it was actually just a camera angle because when... It's like the way how the light had hit my brow. Because when I kind of changed the position of the camera, my brows were like full. So this is how my brow looks on the daily without any makeup. Not cute. I'm gonna go ahead and just um, keep watching Lexi's vlog and probably go on Snapchat and some social media. I'm contemplating purchasing this Becca. Jaclyn Hill collaboration with Becca Cosmetics. And this is this shimmering skin perfector pressed, which it's limited edition. And this one is called Champagne Pop, which is, which is a soft white gold with pinky peach undertones. I am a huge fan of Becca highlighters. Once you stick limited edition on a makeup product, I'm telling you, we makeup junkies go crazy over anything that says limited edition. I ended up ordering it and I got a sample of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day and Night. Oh, day night cap um, overnight I guess it's like a treatment and then you can pick like five free samples drive shop just dropped off this 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe LTE driven something like this before and I'm pretty comfortable driving it we can't wait to see it. what was that I think the trunk was about to open <laughs> I have to test it out and see what kind of features it has. So it just really pisses me off when, you know, you have somewhere to go, you're gonna meet somebody. Do you know just being inconsiderate? That's all I'm gonna say about it. It just, I just needed to vent it and share it. It just freaking pisses me off. That's a nice way of putting it. This is a seven seater and it's got a huge moonroof. Wow, that is freaking bomb. What an awesome view. We're here at Harley's Bowl, Bowling Alley. There's their final score. We're here at the Bowling Alley. What are they doing? I beat it. Good job. I didn't really vlog too much earlier because um, Olivia, I'm gonna insert her picture here. Olivia and I were talking and um, I don't think she really knows. I didn't really tell her about, you know, the whole YouTube thing and everything. And I haven't seen her in a couple of years. I want to say probably at least like three years. So I didn't want to like bust out the camera and start vlogging her. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, but I'm gonna insert some pictures. At least I have some footage of the boys bowling. Olivia had me um, take this quiz. Southern husband quiz and it's on the guys from magic Mike. so you take the quiz and it will ask you like all these questions like if for breakfast what would you consider what would you like to eat and my southern husband would be Channing Tatum yes Channing and I mm -hmm. and I didn't know he was born in Alabama you see that car right there I was vlogging and the lady and um, the driver were just Things staring at me, but whatever. Here's Elizabeth. Say hi. She's moving. The hell? I'm gonna miss you. Having the two for 25 dinner. I got a salad. Elizabeth got the what is this? Chicken miyoki. Is that how you say it? Chicken miyoki. And we're just chatting away. I forgot what Elizabeth is called, but it's a uh, looks like an Alfredo with a lot of creamy sauce in it. Mine is spinach with like ravioli sauce. So we're also having the two dessert dark chocolate and amaretto. We are now trying to rush so that we can go sit down in the theater and watch Channing Tatum. 
right? Yes. yes. So we just got out of the movie. <laughs> Your thoughts, Elizabeth? <laughs> A magic mic. Oh. Exactly. I can talk. <laughs> Dude, my mouth was open the whole time. I'm not even kidding. If we had like dollar bills, we probably would have been like throwing the dollar bills. You guys need to go watch it and support Channing Tatum. Support Channing Tatum. My God, it was like hot in the theater. <laughs> I think it's this way. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And what else? Um. Oh no, this. I think it's this way. Oh no, this. I think it's this way. There's a reference to Twilight. If you guys watch the movie, let me know in the comment area what I'm talking about in the movie. There's a little reference, but yeah, overall, you guys need to go watch Magic Mike Double XL. I'm at home now and um, forgot to add earlier after all of that. The storyline was really good. I mean, I think if this was produced by Channing Tatum as well, I'm going to tell you guys the storyline was very good. Um, it's a bit different from Magic Mike, the first movie, but it's very, very good. You guys need to go check it out. If you guys go bring your girlfriends with you because this is definitely like a girlfriend kind of, you know, movie. But I definitely recommend it. I think that's how I'm going to end this day in the life video. I'm going to go edit this and work out, edit my... June Obsessions video, so two videos sh should be going up by the time you guys watch this. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me for a day in the life of day in the life of. Um, this was definitely something a little bit different because I had the day off today, so that was pretty cool. We got to do a lot of things, and I was able to take you guys with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys.